We begin with breaking news just into the newsroom within the last hour. We've learned the district attorney for Adams County will not be filing any charges related to the fentanyl poisoning deaths of five people in Commerce City back in February. Nine News Crime and Justice reporter Matt Jablo joins us now in the newsroom with more on the DA's decision. Hey, Matt. Darius, according to Adams County DA Brian Mason, the evidence available today has not and will not lead to an arrest in the case, though Mason added that he will continue to investigate any new leads that may come in. It happened back on February 20th of this year. Five young adults died in a Commerce City house after using cocaine that after their deaths tested positive for the presence of fentanyl. Numerous law enforcement agencies have been involved in the investigation for the past six months, including the Commerce City Police Department, the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, and the North Metro Drug Task Force. But despite their efforts, no charges will be filed at this point. The family of one of the victims, 28-year-old Karina Rodriguez, says they're deeply disappointed by the DA's decision. In a written statement, they said what happened to the five victims was murder, and the person responsible is walking free. Darius. Matt, thank you so much. I know we've talked about these fentanyl deaths a lot, or these poisonings rather, and we continue to hear more and more about them, but I can't imagine what this family may be going through right now. We look forward to more coverage later on.